Hi guys, my name is Andre aka McGranton and this is what I've done over the Christmas days. I basically try to get rid of my cable mess I have here in my back and yeah, everywhere else in my studio. But what I've done is I built this nice looking multi-core do-it-yourself uh, XLR socket housing box uh, where I have connected my Rumpler synthesizer and my virus, so basically some, some synthesizers that are then routed to my patch bay over here and to my uh, mixer yeah and all everything goes smooth through one cable and I think it's really nice looking stuff and what I've done is basically I ordered these uh, XLR socket sockets and built a housing around that of course with wood uh, that I ordered these I think it's called multiplex um, wood also a tool that was really handy was I from our office I borrowed uh, the 3d printer over the Christmas days really played a lot around uh, around with it over the days and got to know Tinkercad and I think in the like two one or two evenings I designed the front plate for the XLR sockets. Why I've done so? Uh, I think it's way better instead of you know like drilling everything exactly uh, you know into the wood. I don't have the tools for that in our basement. So yes I've done the whole thing in our basement and uh, I think it was or for me it was easier to uh, design it uh, on the computer and then just hit the print button and I'm really happy with the result. I think it also looks quite cool with the black front plate and I'm really happy uh, with the result. Hope you enjoy it, hope you like it and really please I would like to start a discussion about cable management in a studio uh, because I think I'm not the only one having this problem with all these analog cables and the mess with all these synthesizers and audio sources that you would like to connect. If you have some further ideas also how to, you know, like uh, arrange or route cables, that would be pretty cool. Also hit the like button and subscribe and talk to you soon. Bye.